so hello guys today we are going to see how we can add testng in our automation project so testng is very powerful tool used for test automation and it offers the features like parallel execution and data driven testing and also provides multiple annotations using that we can easily maintain our automation test cases so let's see how we can add the testng in our automation project so today we are going to see uh, how we can add the testng dependency in maven project and also in gradle project right so let's get started so this is a simple java selenium code i have already made a video on this how we can configure the java and selenium in our system you can find that video in above i button as well as i'll provide the link in description box what i'm doing is here i have set the driver path here then i have created the driver instance then i'm launching the google url and then i have simply maximized the page okay and i have used java's main method here so let's see now how we can add the test engine in our project so this is a maven project you can see you can find the pom.xml file here so this is a file where we add all the project related dependencies right like uh, test engine selenium you can see i have already added the selenium test engine here right so all the project related dependencies we add in this pom.xml file so first we'll find the dependency for testng file and then we'll add the dependency in this file right so we'll go to the google chrome and simply we'll search here mvn repository okay and here we'll see search testng okay this test engine first result and you can find here multiple versions select latest one right and below here you can see multiple options this is a maven gradle gradle short gradle kotlin for now we want maven right so we we'll select and copy this code and we simply paste it in our dependencies tag in your case if this dependencies tag is not visible you can simply create the dependency tag using this dependencies option right inside this you can simply paste your dependency for now i am adding this below this dependency and once you are added here dependency then don't forget to click on this sync option right then only this will automatically download the jar for test ng if you don't do this then it will not download the jar file so we'll click on this sync option it will simply download the jar okay how we can verify that so for that go to this external libraries and inside this below you can see this jar is downloaded successfully so we have simply added the testng dependency in pom.xml now we can simply create one method and annotate that method with either it test annotation and we don't require the static word main method to execute our code so we simply will create one method public void launch url and simply i cut paste this code here okay now we don't require this method anymore i'll annotate this method with test annotation now hover on this so if you are not getting like the here if you are not getting any suggestion to add the class then listen carefully this is very important click on this file option then go to this project structure okay then go to this modules and dependencies below here you can find test ng dependency right so here scope is test you have to change is to compile okay then simply apply and okay now you can see we got the import option here right now 
you can see I hover on this you can see this is referring to our jar so simply I'll execute the code now you can see page is loading and google, google url is also launched and page is also maximized and we got the notification test is passed we'll go to the intellij you can see here ignore this warning for now you can see one test case is passed right so this is how we can simply add the test engine in our maven project so let's see how we can add the test engine for gradle project so for that I have already created Gradle project so this is a Gradle project and I have already set this method here for launching the Google URL so now you can see here in Gradle project you will not found the pom.xml file to manage the dependencies you can find this build.gradle file okay inside this file we have to add the dependencies all the project related dependencies so you can see here I have already the added selenium dependency here now let's add the test engine dependency so we'll go to the google and here we'll search test engine right you can add the test engine dependency from official website as well but this is the preferred way and uh, this is an easy way so i'm adding from here we'll select the latest version here now we want earlier we used this maven dependency right now we want gradle so for gradle for gradle we have to select this gradle kotlin okay so we'll copy this code and we'll simply add here right we can remove this comment line and here we have to make small change that is we have to remove this test and we have to add this dependency like this okay now we have to click on this sync gradle sync this will download our jar okay don't forget this now we we'll verify in external libraries you can see this test ng 7.10.2 is downloaded successfully now here we'll remove this or we'll create one new method properly launch your right and inside this we cut this this code okay now we can remove this method now we can annotate this method with test as you can see we got this suggestion as well right now simply we can run our project so you can see google url is launched successfully and it is maximized as well button notification test case is passed you can see here we got this result test case is passes so this is how we can add test engine dependency in maven and gradle projects right so i hope you like this video and if you are facing any difficulty or any issue then let me know in comment box thanks for watching and please subscribe for our channel for more videos like this